it's time to get on that boat. Welcome back to Pokemon Yellow, where uh, this is Vermilion City. This is uh, where the electric gym is. And this episode, we're going to board the SS Anne. We probably won't do all of the SS Anne, though, because there are a lot of rooms and a lot of battles. But we'll do some of it. And also explore the city a little bit, because there's some stuff we can get, like that old rod, which lets us fish. I think basically you can only get magic carps from there, but still. Okay, so she has a Squirtle. We probably have to beat the gym to get the Squirtle. What are you? You're just information. Okay. That's good to have. This guy, I think, gives us the bike voucher so that we can get that bike next time we go up to Cerulean. Uh, I think we just have to listen to a really long story and then he gives it to us. More than 100 Pokemon? That's a lot of Pokemon. That's like almost all of them back here before we made another 900 of them. How many are we at at this point? Like last I checked it was, it was over 700, surely. Last time I played it was 493. Like, played seriously. Because that's what Gen 4 ended up with. Uh, yeah, I don't know how many there are now. Uh, so we didn't get the bike voucher, by the way. Uh, apparently, we are out of item slots. Because that's a thing that's in this game. That is not in future games, because we had more than, like, 10 bytes of data to work with. I thought this person had a Farfetch to trade us, but I guess not. Uh, we're going to be battling some people, so let's put Pikachu up front. Let's head down. This is where the SSN is. Also where that truck is that people claimed you could get a Mew. Under it. Also Pika Blue at some point, which is not a real Pokemon. Uh, just to the right is where that truck is. We still don't know what the purpose of that is, as far as I know. Uh, so this is just a ship. And uh, you go through all the rooms and you fight a whole bunch of trainers. Some of them don't fight you. Uh, there are items in some of the tr in some of the the rooms. Even some of the staff fight you. Actually, I think a couple a couple of them will fight you. And then uh, once you get to the end, the captain teaches you how to use cut. So you can teach that to a Pokemon, and then you will know how to cut trees down. It's one of the many gates in this game. I wanted to see if Slam was stronger, because Growlithe is a fire type, therefore special. Okay, that got a crit, so that's not really fair. But it did work out. Uh, we don't really have a counter to Growlithe right now. But at least I know he can't really Ember Charmeleon very much. I wish we had Slash right now. But Scratch should be... Wow, that's weak. Okay, what does Roar do? I think Roar works like Whirlwind and it makes you switch Pokemon if it hits. Like, I think it would it would switch out somebody and it's random. I think. I think that's what Roar does. But it missed. Now he's just spamming Ember. You get that four damage, buddy. You you just you you deserve it. Oh come on. So he should have been using... Wow. Okay, crit. That makes more sense. I'm like, that. he should have been using that the whole time. And he still should have been. That would have been smarter. We defeated Gentleman. This is where we get a good chunk of money so that we can buy some more Pokeballs after that Jigglypuff broke all of them. Let's see. Wow. So one trainer took out half of Charmeleon and half of Pikachu. That's not a good start. We're probably going to have to leave and go to the Pokemon Center at least once, if not more than once. I thought that even there might be a room that has a bed that we can sleep in, but I'm unsure. We'll find out. We'll, we'll check. We'll check all the rooms. I don't think you, like, click on the bed. I think it's just a trainer who goes, hey, you look tired. Would you like to take a nap? And you say, yes, I would like to take a nap. But that may not have been in this game. That may have been in a different game with a different SSN. Perhaps even Gold and Silver when they've 
redo the SSN, if they even do. I can't remember. I don't know if that is even a part of that game. It's been a long time, okay? And even though I played a lot of silver, and a bit of crystal, I didn't play that much of crystal though, but I played a lot of silver, I still remember Kanto a lot more, which is the, the region we're currently in. Nidorina learned Poison Sting, which is not a very good move, it has like a base power of like 20, maybe? But, the thing is, it's better than having both Scratch and Tackle, because they are essentially the same move, but Tackle is, I think, weaker in this game, and also less accurate. So I'd rather have the type coverage, even if the type coverage isn't especially good. I can't remember if Sludge Bomb is a move in this game, but if it is, it would be not a terrible move to teach Nidorina at some point, if it's a TM. Honestly unsure. I don't even know if Poison counts as special or physical in this game. I don't think she's gonna do anything. Nope. Trainers usually don't move. Can we, can we do that bad? No. Okay. The, the ones that want to fight you won't move. The ones that are stationary will. Okay. Cool. Another room that... nothing. Sweet. I think we do get to register the Wigglytuff to our Pokedex if we talk to it, so that's why I talk to it. Oh, this looks like a trainer room for sure. Do, 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 do. I do have to say, I've left the volume for this series slightly higher than I probably would like, just so you can experience the music. The music in this game is great. The Pokemon games have always had great music, and even in this era, where you did not have much space to work with, you didn't have much technology to work with, it was it's just fantastic. It's one of the reasons I think that the games have been as successful as they are. Just a boppin' soundtrack. Nidoran. We have a psychic type, we can counter that. Although it knows poison's thing, maybe. We should still get the best of this. Oh, that's confused. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. Well we tried. 50-50 shot there. And it died. If we got that critical at first, it would have been nicer, but sure, whatever. It's one out of three done for this room. Hopefully there's not... The battles aren't too difficult, because we've got three Pokemon at approximately half health right now. It's not great. Oh, he's gonna block that third person for us. You only have to fight two in this room, I guess. Actually, you might even be able to get away with just one. If you path it right. I'm fighting them all anyway, just just cuz. No, please don't poison, please don't poison. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's put quick attack up here, it'll just make it easier to use. You can switch the order of the attacks, I just often forget to, and then at that point, you've got sunk cost fallacy, and you're just like, oh, it's already been there forever. Could have changed it way earlier. I'm not even sure if that's the proper use of sunk cost fallacy. Don't at me. I actually like the design of Nidoran male better than Nidoran female. I think all the way through the the evolution chain, it's the the spiky ness to it. All oh, right, I have no room for items. Oops. Uh, that's unfortunate. I, I should have paid attention. Oh, she doesn't even fight. Okay, cool. Okay, well. Let's see what's in this final room here. You're not going to be anyone, probably. You're a global police agent. Okay, cool. You shouldn't just tell people that. Alright, we're going to head back to the Poco Center. We're going to deposit some items in a box. And then we're going to come back here and get that item and fight the rest of the ship, probably. This was not a very productive episode, but it sure was an episode that happened. 
do like how close the Poké Centers are. The world isn't actually that big. It feels big. And, I mean, for this kind of generation, it's pretty big. But, you're usually only like two or three screens away from a Poké Center or away from a town. Which is, is kind of nice, actually. Alright, well, we'll be back on the next episode, and we'll, uh, hopefully take over that whole ship.